be at Alston. And line two, Tavistock continued right here, which is now disused. now this is uh, still under the operation of network rail here so what we'll do is go over the top and join the Tavik, Tavik stop line a little bit further down here's the junction there with Plymouth on the left and Gunny's Lake on the right. Actually, a network rail van here right now. Here is the end of the operational line. See the signal box there. It doesn't really run that far beyond the station. And there is the line which we will be following now for a couple of parts and hopefully all the way to Tavistock. But it is going to be quite tough in places, I think. Expect a lot of overgrown trees down, and I would expect to be wading as well. So that will be the uh, will be the plan. So we'll we'll crack on and see what happens. And the first thing that's happened here is a change of footwear. So pretty much I can just plow through whatever horrors is there and that's a nice new or nice dry footwear for later so let's let's crack on down the line and see what it has in store it's really nice and easy so far there's a very small sign of a footpath kind of expected that will, will disappear see there's a cliff cutting there I didn't attempt to get onto the line the chest there but obviously the cliff makes it very very difficult and this looks as though it's the first missing bridge Bridge just look to have gone here. See, it's really, really no sign of it at all. Been quite a, quite a low bridge. So it will be up the other side. A lot to grab hold of. Here. I really don't know where the, where the line has gone there. It's like the embankment has been dug away and I come back back to line level here it starts to look quite overgrown now and there it is a 
fairly mangled mangled that bridge the bridge there it's just down onto to a woodland trackway actually not too bad here at the moment it's moving into a cutting here now which I see is a danger and there will be standing water good at the moment so reasonably reasonably clear cutting maybe the undergrowth is actually it's lowest at the moment this would be impassable in the summer it is actually proposed to um, it's on a list of lines to be restored you see the water pouring off the the moss absolutely soaked it's all very good so far it's all quite well drained Footprint there. Just approaching the overbridge now. It's the first one, and this does look really, really bad. It does look as though stuff has been dropped from the bridge above. very clear
huge embankment now. And you can see the houses way, way down underneath. Next section looks looks decent. It's a very light bramble. Something from the from the railway days. Really hard to say. And here we are. I kind of stick towards the edges. I think due to maybe some mud in there which you could get stuck in so I just go towards the edge Here, which is kind of useful. And that can be can be used. I don't know how strong that is. Onwards we go. See this huge tree has, has come down here and brought down a lot of the embankments as well. Really big slabs. Bridge here, over a trackway 